welcome. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you can determine how many files and what size of files are changing on your local hard drive or on your network hard drive so that you can determine how much data changes in your incremental backup on a day-by-day -day basis. There are online data calculators that you can use to sort of estimate what your costs are going to be. And you also use these to determine what bandwidth you need to have and whether your bandwidth is sufficient for, say, doing an incremental backup once per night. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up the uh, computer icon, which is a Windows Explorer. And on my network, I have a J drive that represents a, a server called Radon. And I've got a map drive letter. So what I'm going to show you here is a little trick where I click on the search icon and choose date modified. And I'm going to choose a range of dates. In my case, I'm going to choose about seven, seven days from last week, last Wednesday through Tuesday. And you'll notice that Windows is doing a um, scan of all the files. I'm going to pause here so that we can finish. OK, so it looks like the scan finally finished. We now have all the files listed that have been modified. And you'll notice that I've clicked on the column here for date modified, so I sort those in order. Now, one thing we don't want to do, I'm going to blow this up so that you can see it a little better. One thing we don't want to do is we don't want to estimate the folders that have a recent date modified on them, because if we scroll down a little bit, you'll notice that we eventually get to the files. So what I'm going to do is select the very first file that indicates that it's been modified in the date range that I selected. And I've just left clicked with my mouse. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm going to hold down my shift key on my keyboard and click. And I've now selected all the files that are in the date range that have been modified for those six days. I now right click and I select properties. Now this will take a minute as well, but you'll see that uh, it's telling me that I've had 4.43 gigabytes of files that have changed in those six days. Well, it's easy enough at this point to bring up a calculator and say, well, if I had 4.43 gigabytes divided by in this case, I guess I've encompassed a total of seven working days. We can see that we modify at about 0.63 gigabytes per day. Or put another way, we modify about 632 megabytes per day on this network. Now, in this case, I'm just using it as an example. I did encompass the weekend, you'll notice. You may choose not to include the weekend. If you want to, what you can do after you've scanned this, uh, this date range, since we've sorted by date, is you could choose the first file, let's say on the 22nd, and kind of just scan down this column until you see the date change. So there's the, the date change. So I've chosen all the files that have been modified on this network for the day of the 22nd. So that's an average work day. I could right click on that and I could check its properties. Now I don't have to divide. I can see that on that day I modified 18.3 megabytes or added 18.3 megabytes worth of, of files, either created or modified. Uh, and then I can compare that to the next day. So I can do something similar if I'm looking to get granular where I pick the 21st and I scroll down to, uh, it looks like on the 21st, probably few, fewer files got modified. Let's see about the overall size. So I right click, and I can see that on that day, it was 4.45 uh, on disk megabytes. So I'm just trying to get a rough idea. So one day was 18.3, one day was 4.45. So we can go through this way and sort of get a sense for how many files get modified on our network. Now you may have to be careful here because if you're running Exchange, uh, you, ha you might have uh, folders that you're not seeing mapped to your J drive. And so you got to take into consideration whether there's some other hidden files or something else going on. If you don't have administrative rights, maybe you're not seeing all of the files that were modified. But if you do have, do this as the administrator, and this will give you a real good sense for how much files um, you get changed on a day-by-day -day basis. And that'll tell you 
um, how much bandwidth you've got to buy. One last thing I would like to point out is earlier you saw me do a calculation where on average over the course of the last seven days it showed that uh, we had about 632 megabytes per day and then we looked at a couple of individual days and came up with only 18.3 megabytes one day and 4.45 megabytes the next day. So when you really look at that you say well where's the discrepancy? How do we get from 4 to 18 megabytes a day clear to averaging 632? If I scroll down uh, you'll see the culprits here. When I get down to the dates at the bottom uh, October 16th it looks like somebody stored a total of about five 914 megabyte images. So you're probably looking at uh, four gigabytes all by itself, just those four files, which threw my uh, totals off. This is just a, a warning that day by day, the averages are going to vary drastically, particularly if someone copies some big files. So you might want to select a date range up here that is a month or even a couple months to give yourself a real good sense if you have the same kind of things going on the network so that you don't get a, a granular response and you can get a good average. Well, that'll do it for this tutorial. Thanks for listening and uh, visit highrely.com if you want to learn more about backup.